Hey, what's up, guys? This is Yo Boy Roy partnering up with Ubisoft for a four part video series on this channel. Ubisoft has been generous enough to allow me to play in their Creator Cups and record early access content for y'all for the last couple of years, and now I could not be more excited to go over the new Operation Steel Wave. Given my roots in content creation were always about tips, tricks, and information, this collaboration had me stoked to share my thoughts with y'all. In today's first video, we'll be taking a look at the incredible house rework. From the outside, when you spawn in, house will have a very familiar feel. And then you go inside and realize that this family shelled out the big bucks to add onto every single floor of the house. It should be called mansion because this baby is huge. Not only did the treehouse get a facelift, but the car in the garage has a tarp over it simply because they don't want to show off too much. The Ubisoft team did a fantastic job of creating a new way to play Siege's most OG map. There are several key things to highlight. First, the front door has been permanently barricaded off. This prevents those traditional ash rushes sending it straight up the stairs or into sight, giving the defense a bit longer before seeing their three-speed friend. Second, there is now a fourth staircase helping the defense with rotates. You have your traditional main stairs, the stairs going down into gym, the west stairs, and now a red staircase going up into the newly added reading room. This expands the map a lot, pushing master bedroom further towards the center of the house and allowing there to be more room to move upstairs on the south side. Third, the three window bathroom is now a single window one. Privacy is important in there and the team felt the bathroom was better off with less transparency. Thankfully, this means spawn peeking is a lot harder towards the docks. In fact, if anyone wants to run out towards the street or docks, they'll have to fully expose themselves and open up an entire soft wall to get that pesky angle. But beware, because this means that there's still an angle, but nothing you can't pre-fire, right? I don't want to see any of y'all losing to this. Fourth, one side of the garage has also been permanently barricaded off. This helps the Bandit and Cade more effectively trick Thermite, Habana, or even the new operator Ace from opening up the garage. And to add an extra layer of defense and helping, just a few feet above in the office, the floor is destructible. And guess what? Overlooks the garage wall. This will allow anyone with impacts or heck any operator with a gun to be able to shoot the gadget or even the operator itself from opening up the wall. Fifth, the treehouse is incredible, and no, you can't slide down the slide. Why? Because the clown from IT has been in there and left his signature balloon. So stay clear, boys. The treehouse can now see down the hall, into kids' bedroom, and into the newly added pink room. This room replaced construction and now has a window facing the west side. This is perfect, especially given you can now hop out of the window and rotate down into game room. This is the only side of the building where you can pull this kind of rotate off, and boy, is it a good one. Six, the back access to gym called Depot is hard wall, so now you'll never have to reinforce this side and instead force attackers to funnel through a single doorway. This was fantastic for the new defensive operator's gadget, but we'll be covering her more in depth in a later video. Finally, let's do a bit of a walkthrough so you can understand where all these important features are. Here we go, 1v0, I'm gonna pad the stats. Yes, I do have plenty of friends. They're just not on right now, I promise. This is the cool opening sequence with a lot of fauna. It, it appears that the people at the house decided that there needed to be more trees. We like that. Okay, let's spawn APC because everyone used to spawn there and die because of that run out. No, it wasn't even a run out. It was just people s slap the barricade on this front door and you'd round the corner and just die instantaneously. Well, guess what? They fixed that. There's, there's a wall. We love that. So now you can't just break that barricade and, and gun everyone down here so it, it does require them to see this little thing right here and we'd all used to go whoop and then die right that doesn't exist i mean i guess they could still just like walk out here but more effort on the defensive side uh -huh. okay so anyway first thing to notice right new balcony new stuff new walling a lot of money was put into this house a lot of good stones we'll just open this up because this is brand new to y'all back entrance love it right boom tv room fancy siege sound <laughs> looks like siege is expanding into the audio market okay so we have tv room right this used to be like where the kitchen was but now kitchen has been pushed further that way everything's been pushed further that way okay so now we have music room jam out the tunes we have another box to there we go we have another box to shoot Upon entry, right? Speakers, love that. Music room, TV room. We walk over here. We're pushing more into the side of the house. Boom, red stairs. Okay, this is that staircase I was talking about. Love it. More stuff. So basically the, the entire house got shifted that way, right? 
And so there's like this new room, this new room, we have a red staircase, and then we have this connector. And then we go into familiar territory, right? We have the big window, but there's no longer a, a, just a side desk thing that you could hide behind. There is one there and a hatch. Ooh, hatch. Okay, so this is the traditional. Why was that one hit? Wow, I'm strong. Okay, look at this. Now, when we're when we're trying to like open this, we can't. So we can only open that, which is fantastic because we can't just sit way back in docks or up on the little. Oh, they got rid of the thing. There's no longer a little tower. I didn't catch that at first. Okay, well anyway. Right? Bulletproof. But we can open this. This is our new thing. But because of this wall, we can't just sit back three miles inside the river and get an angle. Right? So that's, that is a big bonus. Here's the front. Beautiful. Ooh. Ah. Architecture. Right? Here's the front. Can't get in there. It's too strong. We open this up, boom. Semi-familiar territory, the office got a facelift, and then obviously, boom. This is where the, the, the garage is, and you can you can chill there. But familiar, familiar, right? Kitchen, familiar, we love that. Stairs, right here. All things we're used to. Game room, right? It just had a, has another an air hockey table? Yeah, see, look, they just... More money, more games. We love that. So, we go upstairs. We check it out. Familiar, heck yeah, but there's no longer a hallway. This is a soft wall, leads into a little room. Boom, pink room. Ooh. Ah, guess what? Boom, chibi. We love the chibi. There's an ash one right here. And if we run this way into the new car room, we can come check out the other guys. Look at that. IQ, Tachanka. Smoke. Montane, I almost said rook. Sad day. Um, when you punch the octopus, he no longer inflates. He uh, he goes away. Dark day. R.I.P. the squid. Moving on. This is the reading room, right? So this side of the map is bigger. And then we come into master bedroom. No longer has that double giant window, but it does have this balcony area, right? And it has a, it has a soft wall. So defenders now have to reinforce that. And then this is the only window here that you can look at, but it's a cool balcony, right? So it's so pretty. This is this is a giant compound. This is this thing is expensive. Alright. We run over here, bathroom, one window. Still still kind of weirded out that there's a bath, like a window in a shower, but we will get over that because they have four shower heads and that's way cooler. This hallway now, right? So this used to be a balcony. Now it's part of the inside interior of the map. And it's a soft wall too. So instead of that giant window that you could get on and have to shoot through the blinders, you can now just, you can just open this up and then you can do your same thing. I don't know if y'all heard that, but I heard window breaking and I'm the only one in this map. So that was a little scary. It is midday for me, but it still kind of scared me. Boom. This window, no longer a giant window, just a small one, but allows you to have almost almost the similar setup as construction, but now obviously you have this window that can look into treehouse. And then our super cool run out. Voila. Coming downstairs into the yoked room, we see Jim has some, some new features. I, I can't remember if there was a treadmill there, but now we have more weights not just stacked in the corner we have more weights and it looks like he's pumping out 45s big fan whoever this guy has he's got yoked shoulders he's probably that guy right there he just got a little bit bigger in here with a shower showers are important bro you can't be working out and getting stinky this thing got moved back a bit so now you can really tuck into this corner there's still this half wall thing that you can hide behind right but there's more room wiggle room over here Everything moved, nice. You can now go through this wall. So this used to, you know, you can only shoot through it, but now you can actually go through it. So that's that's a plus. And now it's really cool. So when the bomb site's in here, you can actually plant right here. So it's pretty dang protected if you can control this corner, but there's a hatch, right? So like if defenders have opened any of this up and are holding from above, it's gonna be a little tricky. So yeah, that's uh, that's kind of the walkthrough, man. House is pretty neat. Um, TBH would love to see it in rank sometime, but I know it's only gonna be in casual. 
Uh, so we'll see. We'll see what the future holds, but Rainbow's on the right track. Really excited for uh, how you guys are going to play it and come up with strats and angles and all that kind of stuff. Thank y'all so much for watching. Uh, I will be doing three more parts on this channel and we'll be covering the two new operators and the patch notes. So if you guys want to see that, be sure to come on back and check it out and subscribe to the Ubisoft channel. And I will see y'all in the next video. Take it easy.